Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can overclock your monitor and yeah, that's true, you can overclock your monitor. I actually just found this out uh, by trying it myself. I have a large 32-inch uh, BenQ monitor. It's Ultra HD. It's like, I guess you call it 2K. It's 2560 by 1440 resolution. And I love the monitor, but it's only 60 hertz. And... Um, when I play Grand Theft Auto, even with the settings turned all the way up with my GTX 970, um, I get above 60 frames per second, so I get screen tearing. So I wanted to try this out and see if it works, and it does. And uh, what I'm going to show you right now is how to do it, and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you on my other monitor. What we want to do is go into the NVIDIA settings. So if you expand your hidden icons for the running processes and you look for the little green nvidia icon and you right click on that and what you want to do is open the nvidia control panel okay that opened up on my other monitor let me just drag that over here okay so that's one way to open that another way to open the control panel is just to hit the little uh, magnifying glass and just type in you just type in NVIDIA control panel I only got NVIDIA C-O-N-T-R and it popped up and you just click that but mine is already open so once you have it open what you want to look for is uh, display and then change resolution alright so right now we're going to select the monitor we want to do this on and that's going to be the samsung and over here we have 1920 by 1080 highlighted and you see the refresh rate it says 60 hertz so if we click customize now i do have two resolutions already customized 66 hertz and 65 hertz but i'm going to click this create custom resolution so over here where it says refresh rate is where you could play with different refresh rates but here's what you need to do you need to find what's the highest refresh rate your monitor can reach that it can display properly once you find that you want to backstep a few hertz so this particular monitor did 66 hertz and it could do it properly so if I want to use that monitor at 66 hertz, I can, but when you overclock anything, you can stress the components, which means you, you can shorten the life. But from the research I did, um, I actually couldn't find anyone breaking the monitor by doing this. But let's say you have a 60 hertz panel and somehow, magically, you could overclock it to 120 hertz, then chances are you could break it. But if you're just overclocking it by like you know 5 10 maybe even 20 hertz i don't think you're gonna break it but you know it's overclocking so you gotta do so at your own risk right anyway so since i already know what my limit is um let, let me create a new well let me just test this is what you would do so i'm gonna try 64 hertz and since and again since this monitor is 60 hertz, I don't want to go from 60 and try 100 hertz, okay? Most likely, most monitors will not let you do that anyway. But this monitor that I'm testing this on is not a high-end monitor. It's like a $150 monitor anyway. So I'm not really worried if I break it. But anyways, um, so I only went up 4 because this monitor doesn't, it only goes up 6 hertz maximum. And I created... Um, Custom resolutions for 65 hertz and 66 hertz. So those are already taken. But anyways, that's all you want to change is the hertz setting. You want to leave everything else alone. And then you click test. Now, if your monitor blinks and comes back and it says, um, and it gives you that little uh, pop-up that says apply changes. Um, do you want to save the resolution? If you can see that and it's clear and, every and everything is working fine, then yeah, you can use that new refresh rate. Now click yes, I could use that. 
and then your monitor will blink again and it'll bring you back to the original factory setting of 60 hertz so then you click OK but now you have the option of using that 64 hertz setting that you just saved so if you scroll all the way up you'll see this custom setting you highlight that and you see 64 hertz is already up there and then you just click apply and then, and then it'll ask you if you should keep the settings and I'll hit yes because everything looks fine now um, there are some limitations with cables if you're using DVI a lot of DVI cables are limited to 60 Hertz so the cable will limit how far you could go now if you're using something like DisplayPort you can go a lot higher because DisplayPort, I forget what the max is, but you could run 144 hertz on DisplayPort, I think uh, 1.2 will allow you to run that. So, and if you try a different uh, refresh rate and it doesn't work, what's going to happen is two things. Either your monitor's going to come back on and everything looks um, messed up, okay? So you can either wait it out because if you do nothing in 15 seconds it'll just go back to what it used to be or you click you could click end to answer that question do you want to keep this you click no um, another thing that can happen is when you apply a refresh rate that your monitor can't support is the screen will go blank completely or it'll go blank and it'll give you a warning message uh, that would say out of range so if you get that then you know you went too far um, on the Samsung monitor, I was able to do 66 hertz maximum. Uh, my BenQ 32 inch monitor, I was able to hit 75 hertz, and and I tested this many times. So I but I didn't run it at 75 hertz. I ran it several times at 72 hertz, but most of the time I just put it to 70 hertz. And then again in your game. For instance, Grand Theft Auto, you would want to make sure that you have the right refresh rate selected in, this, in the display settings to make sure you're using those extra frames per second that you could use now. And uh, that's what I did, and everything worked fine. Um, but I did get to test a 27-inch, uh, 144 hertz monitor from BenQ. And, you know, 144 hertz and 70 hertz, you know, that's a huge difference. And, yeah... The 144 hertz monitor is a lot better. It's a lot faster. But I kept the 32 inch because it's a lot bigger. And for my day to day tasks, like working on videos or writing, it's just a lot better. Even though they had the same resolution, but this screen is bigger. It's a better panel. This is a VA. That was a TN. And, uh, you know, that's why I kept this one. But, anyways, guys, that's how you can hack your monitor and overclock it a little bit, get some extra performance without spending any money. You just got to use the NVIDIA control panel and create a custom resolution. And you can do this on AMD. I heard you can, but I don't have an AMD card right now, so I can't test that for you guys. But hope you like this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.